getting families on the ice all season long and into the playoffs. Luther Kia of Bloomington. Come see the seven passenger Telluride and all the new 2023 models at Luther Kia of Bloomington. It's time for another edition of Breakaway presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington with Mark Parrish. I'm Audra Martin. Goals were hard to come by tonight for both the Minnesota Wild and the visiting Florida Panthers. Penalties were not hard to come by. Seven, <laughs> seven for no. seven on the PK tonight for the Wild. Five for five on the PK for the Florida Panthers. So not the best when it comes to trips <laughs> to the penalty box, but a defensive battle. Gustafson was great between the pipes. Unfortunately, it's the Panthers who get two points in the shootout. The, the refs were calling it tight. There's not much you can do about that. The, the Wild worked their way through it, as did the P Florida Panthers. Both penalty kills were outstanding but then again you come out of the shootout you got Alexander Barkov on that side you got Sergei Bobrovsky on that side Philip Gustafson as spectacular as he played and as well as the whole team played it came right down to one man and that was Sergei Bobrovsky and he was lights out just a little bit better than our guy Philip Gustafson who was also lights out yeah so the Panthers take both games this season two to one the final in St. Paul tonight that means they have wins in five straight against Minnesota busy night like said on special teams uh, the Minnesota Wild though held off the score sheet on the power play for just a second time in the last 10 games they do have nine power play goals in that stretch so nothing to panic about there tonight but you would love to see the man advantage take advantage and maybe tack on a couple more uh, even strength goals which have been a problem for the Wild lately but Dean Evison isn't too concerned we're gonna catch some more breaks like we did the other night with Hartsey's goal um, we just got to keep grinding away and it's it's rewarding to play like that too. Like sure, we want we can still score cross seam and slot line passes. There's no question, and we'll allow the guys to do that. But um, we're we're going to score Minnesota Wild goals, and we're going to score gritty goals, um, and we'll just keep preaching that. The homestand continues Wednesday with a Central Division showdown as the Colorado Avalanche come to town. Then another Central Division matchup Friday and another on Sunday against the Stars, then the Predators. And we'll wrap things up with a game against the Kings on Tuesday. We appreciate you joining us tonight on Breakaway presented by Luther Key of Bloomington. For Mark Parrish, I'm Audra Martin. We'll see you next time.